अरे वाह कंग्रेचुलेशन जिद्दीस आप लोगों ने प्रो चेक कर डू इट योर सेल्फ होम प्रोटीन टेस्टिंग किट ले लिया वेल डन बदल स्टेप नंबर वन अब इस वीडियो में बाकी के स्टेप्स को फॉलो करिए और अपने प्रोटीन का रियल परफॉर्मेंस चेक कर लीजिए ऑलवेज स्टे जिद्दी वेलकम दिस इज एम बी प्रो चेक योर होम प्रोटीन टेस्टिंग किट ओपन द किट एंड यूल फाइंड इन इट टू कैप्ड कैलिब्रेटेड टेस्ट ट्यूब्स and two sealed glass vials containing the proprietary testing solution if you want to test only one whey supplement then take out one test tube and one glass vial but if you want to test two separate whey supplements then take out both test tubes and both glass vials you'll also find an instruction and faq booklet in the pack before we move further Let us tell you how this ProCheck works. This kit has a patented solution which when interacts with pure whey protein leads to precipitation. ProCheck uses the same phenomena to determine the authenticity and whey percentage in samples. Completely pour out the testing solution from glass vials carefully into the test tube. It gets filled up to the 35 ml mark. Fill a shaker with 200 ml water and prepare the shake with one scoop of the whey protein brand that you want to test. Shake for 25 to 30 seconds so that mixing is proper and then wait until there is no forming. Next, Carefully pour out exactly 10 ml of the prepared protein shake into the test tube such that it gets filled up to the 45 ml mark that is 35 ml testing solution plus 10 ml protein shake Cap the tube properly and mix the contents by shaking the tube vigorously for about 10 seconds Let the tube stand vertically in a place where you can observe the reaction inside clearly. In this demo, for your complete understanding, we are taking 6 different supplements from the market, all of which claim to be whey proteins and checking them simultaneously in test tubes A, B, C, D, E and F. One minute after shaking, in test tubes A, B, C, D, chemical reaction, curdling immediately starts. Precipitate starts to form throughout the tube. Conclusion: These supplements contain whey protein. One minute after shaking, in test tubes E and F, the mix is spread uniformly in same color. as of the shake that was poured no chemical reaction or separation or precipitation is happening conclusion such supplements are most likely fake that is do not contain whey protein these could be some type of carbohydrate or flour or maltodextrin 5 to 7 minutes after shaking inside test tubes a b c d chemical reaction curdling continues rapidly and you can now see even more separation the precipitate starts settling at the base of the tube as a coagulate conclusion such supplements contain whey protein 5 to 7 minutes after shaking inside test tubes e and f The mix is still uniformly spread without any separation or precipitation. Same color as that of the shake. There is not much difference from the first observation taken 5 minutes ago. Clearly, no chemical reaction is happening with the test solution. Conclusion: Such supplements are fake. That is, do not contain any whey protein. These could just be some carbohydrate or flour starch sugar powder maltodextrin or even an unsafe non-food item 
18 to 24 hours later. In test tubes A, B, C, D, the precipitate has entirely settled down and solidified uniformly as a coagulate at the base. Finally, the moment of truth. Among the four supplements, A, B, C, D, that actually contain whey, it is time to find out their protein percentage. Check precipitate volume readings in ML in the test tube against the corresponding protein percentage value in the protein measurement chart given in the instruction and FAQ booklet. The precipitate reading for A is 10 ml. The corresponding chart value is between 75 to 85 percent. The label claim is 76 percent protein. The precipitate reading for B is 9.5 ml. The corresponding chart value is between 65 to 75 percent. The label claim is 70.5 percent protein. Therefore, the protein content in supplements A and B is accurate as per their label claim. Supplements A and B belong to the category of genuine and accurate whey brands. The precipitate reading for C is between 6 and 7 ml. The corresponding chart value is between 35 to 45 percent. The label claim is 73 percent protein. The precipitate reading for D is between 7 and 8 ml. The corresponding chart value is between 45 to 55 percent. The label claim is 83 percent protein. Therefore, the actual protein content in supplements C and D is far less than what is claimed on their labels. C and D belong to the category of unfair and unscrupulous whey brands. These are available at a price 20 to 50 percent lower than genuine and accurate brands of the same protein percentage on the label, but are deceiving you through much lower actual protein content. We can perform conformity test by inversion method. Invert the tube 180 degrees, that is, place the capped tube with contents upside down. If the precipitate remains solid and stays in place, stable, as a coagulated mass, without falling down or without dissolving in the tube, it means such supplements are made of whey protein. When we perform the same confirmatory test by inversion method in test tubes E and F, the muddy settlements, which are actually not solid precipitates, fall off into the solution and begin to dissolve again. Such supplements are fake, that is, contain no whey protein. 18 to 24 hours later, after the tube inversion test, you can also perform a second confirmatory test using a spatula or the back of any small spoon. Dip it into the tube and try to take out the precipitate or settlement from inside the test tube. If the precipitate looks solid, uniform and coagulated as a mass, it means that supplement contains whey. But if the sediments look just like loose settlements without any hard or solid coagulation and just watery solution, these supplements in tubes E and F are fake, that is, do not contain any whey protein. Save yourself from both types of supplements that fool you, either by giving you something that is not whey at all, example E and F, or have much less protein percentage than what is mentioned on their label, example C and D. Happy testing!